Hey, it's this old Outboards Goped series, baby. Thanks for checking it out. Before I got into uh, outboard motors, I used to fool around with these damn things, and I really loved it. All right, let me tell you what you're looking at here. You're looking at a California Goped Bigfoot frame. Uh, originally, they come with like 10, uh, 10 and a half, 11 inch tires. I swapped these tires out. These are nine inch tires that came off of a pocket bike. I also used the um, handlebar grip off the pocket bike, if I can remember correctly, and took some kids' handlebars off, off a, a, a kid's bike, I should say, took the handlebars off and used them. It was a perfect fit. On these handlebars, I also put the cables that came off the pocket bike. There is the throttle cable. Then on the left hand side is the brake cable. And it was a dual cable so I came up with this idea to control the brake and lift the motor at the same time. So on a go-ped you've got it spindle driven and um, there's the front brake, it was a, uh, not a disc, a drum brake, and um, the cable runs down to the brake, and then runs to the back, and lifts the engine up off the wheel as you're applying the brake, so the damn thing never stalls out on you. I thought that was a very ingenious idea. I'm surprised that uh, California Goped never came up with the idea anyway it worked freaking great here uh, the frame sanded down primed put a cherry red paint job on it it's hanging up and drying Jesus I remember man it was so nice having that damn garage back then I could get so much work done compared to today anyway the frame came out painted up looked great uh, before, like I said, everything was mocked up, and uh, now I'm going to start building this thing, and um, it's coming along really good. Here, I cut out my own deck, um, built my own uh, uh, fender, some aluminum, and uh, came out real nice. I, I, I've done a bunch of go-peds, the same with the outboard motors. I would have people coming from all the surrounding counties to buy my freaking go -peds. Put a uh, black paint job on the uh, handlebars. They came out really sweet. And uh, like I said, just started putting this damn thing together. And it turned out to be my favorite go -ped out of all the peds that I've had. This thing just handled so sweet I wish I still had it today I'll tell you something else I got lucky that I was able to um, get these pictures back they were on a website that I thought I lost a long time ago and I managed to uh, get a hold of some people they helped me out and got the website back up and, and, and got the pictures back and man, just unbelievable. All right, so back to the build. Like I said, man, this thing was just coming along really, really nice. Um, once again, if you know me, I'm a little bit camera crazy and uh, tend to take a ton of pictures of, of all the crap that I do. Um, I had a couple of different motors on this thing at first. Uh, and I uh, finally ordered a new Zenoa G230 RC race engine. I got it uh, from a guy over in Tampa and I couldn't wait to get that puppy on there. Anyway, here's some more pictures. Uh, the bike is, uh, or the pet I should say, is uh, pretty much done at this point. I'm just waiting for that motor to come in and uh, 
About three or four more pictures and it gets here. <laughs> Sorry, I, I can't help but look at, looking at all these damn pictures. I love this thing so much. And and like I said too, man, that uh, brake cable, dual cable system, man, worked like a charm. I don't know if you ever rode a go-ped or not. Um, you have to they lift the damn engine on the big foot, you know, to... Uh, keep it from stalling out if you came to a stop sign or something and the cable thing just worked like a champ like I said before I'm surprised that uh, that the company never even thought about that anyway got the engine in and uh, another 400 pictures to go <laughs> no, I'm just kidding a few more pictures and and I've got a short video of, uh, of the first run with this damn thing and it's just me and a tripod and a camera just blowing by the, the camera a couple of times. Unfortunately, didn't get a lot of video stuff done back then. Anyway, let's check it out. I love that thing. I'm telling you, the smoothest, best handling little go pad I've ever been on, and, and trust me, I've had a few. I think the nine inch tires was the way to go with the big foots, or maybe they should have come up with a medium foot or something like that. But man, I'm, I'm not kidding you, just so sweet. And once again, the cable system, uh, Pull the brake handle, crank it up. You didn't have to lift this thing off the ground to start it and all that crap. Um, just just turned out to be a sweet, sweet little go pad. And um, wow, I wish I still had it. Come on now. You know the channel. <laughs> 